Hello and welcome back or welcome to the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. My name is Sir Duke and uh, we are here in Paphlagonia on the, uh, well, Black Sea. Um, last episode was quite hectic. Uh, we lost against our uncle, Nikolaus, a, a war. He claimed the Duchy of Paphlagonia. Then the Emperor of the Byzantine Empire declared war on Bulgaria. He was a commander or a knight in his army, died in battle and we gained our title back. Problem is, we are left with no heir to the dynasty of Dukas, which would mean if this character dies, Constantinus the second, um, we lose the game and we cannot go on playing. Um, we try to solve this problem by finding a suitable spouse for Constantinos but uh, there are none really so we could settle for a character which is an albino and gives us an alliance with a far far away duchy um, which would cause our family to gain this uh, congenital trait of albinos uh, which we don't want all other children all other children all other potential spouses are too young and would take too it would take too long for them to uh, marry actually and and uh, produce an heir so we chose to marry xini lachano dracon which is the daughter of Duke Alexandros of Thracision, a very powerful duke. Um, but that does not make him our ally, which is pretty sad. Um, but <laughs> most importantly, uh, she is the wife or the widow of our uncle which died in battle and she's pregnant <laughs> so the child she's carrying is actually um our uncle's child so i have the explanation that we will stick with her as our wife as she is ready to conceive more children after this birth and she will she has a child already which is of our dynasty He's our cousin, or she will be our cousin. Um, but our advisors uh, advise us to do exactly this. This is the securest way to secure the dynasty of House Lucas. And with that said, we will take a quick look into our issues. Uh, they want us to fabricate a claim, which we well do we have already an unpressed claim to the Helenos Helenopontus um, sadly we could not get the claim on all of our maniac but that's okay the next thing we would try to uh, think of would be work towards this kingdom of pontus title as our grandfather constantinus wanted us or wanted for himself or his dynasty to be to be clear um so i think we will try to get a claim on this here to well um get this after we a fought or war against Armeniac. Does he have any allies? I think I've seen this a thousand times, but I keep forgetting. Uh, he's allied with Nicosia, which is here in the south. Which is uh, no threat to us at all. Uh, yeah, we will. Where's my council? Oh, Bishop. Bishop claim there mm. 
What does the rest of my console say? We have a spy master this, that is pretty bad at his job. My marshal is actually better. He is 12 intrigue. So I could swap them. Yes. Yes, sire. Um, going to become my chancellor and Athanasius here is going to lose his court position who are very diligent and honest uh, Basil Oh, he's my steward with a pretty high stewardship. Um, well, not going to happen. Our marshal will be Pothios. He's 60 years old. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's get them to work. Find secrets. So I think that yellow indicates what does it indicate maybe that there is something to gain here and green is or is it does it indicate the completion tab because in the yellow you have 18 months for completion of this task and in the green you have five months um support our schemes because we want to sway, we cannot sway him. Why? Oh, I think we cannot sway anybody because we are just 14 years old. So for the next two years, just do this. And Marshall, you're going to increase our control here. And let's go. Oh man, uh, chaotic times, but. Yeah, we are not allied with anybody, which I don't understand. Uh, we are married with the daughter of Duke Alexandros. Well, we can break the betrothal, but we cannot. Oh, man. That seems silly, but okay. <laughs> there it is. My newborn cousin is my new heir. <laughs> there he is, Polycarpos. Oh, come on. I didn't get to choose the name. Uh, an unexpected visit. With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I'm heading for my friend Ephthemios Chambers with some spiced wines and a hissy board. Without knocking, I push his door open. Ephthemius is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. What are you hiding? Show me at once. Return later and search his chambers in secret or respect his privacy. Um, we are impatient, so... Did you really think I would not see that? Give it to me once. G give it to me at once. Ephthemius hands me the crumbled parchment and crosses his arms. It is a list of foods and drinks and many familiar names, including that of my favorite, Rubador. It was supposed to be a surprise. I thought it would be a nice gesture to arrange a feast in your honor. Yet this is how you thank me. I, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. If I had not ruined Ephthemius' surprise, I would have gained prestige. Oh no. That's what we need, right? Well, due to our impatient character, uh, we lost that opportunity. Uh, we are already fabricating acclaims. We can lose that. Uh, yeah, low country control. That's okay. Powerful vessel. Uh, 
still the mayor of uh, Stefan. Stefani. That's okay. Demand as much as you want. We can go to war. Right? Their military strength is similar to ours. You can you cannot afford the cost of this war. So upon declaring, you will receive the following effect. Oh, yeah, well, prestige cost, right, of wars. I forgot about that. Uh, we need to fix our prestige. Our family has been, the, our family name has been disgraced in the last years after the death of our grandfather, Duke Constantinos. So... We are coming of age. With the help of Gregorius, I finished my education in the arts of diplomacy. Despite everyone's high expectations, I did not achieve much, and my results left a lot to wish for. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I have become. The friendship I shared with Ephthemius meant a lot to me when we were both young, and to still have him by my side means a lot. The thing. The things Duke Nicolaus put me through as a child still weigh heavy on me, and every time I see him, mood, my mood is sure to turn sour. Mm, Duke Constantinus, you are a man now. You get the trade Naive Appeaser, Los Gregorios, Kentrocurios as their guardian. You won't forget Duke Nicolaus anytime soon. You lost the trade Charming. Well, it is what it is, right? And now get an heir, like a legitimate one. The betrothed can marry. This still will not result in an alliance. I cannot understand how this is possible because she's not part of his court. We have an heir now, so we could break this betrothal too. And be known as the Oathbreaker, right? Uh, uh, real quick. Hmm. We have an heir. It would take another uh, and say it's ten years. We would be twenty-six then. Nobody will be mad at us. We break this betrothal, right? Oh, this is this is where we lose so much prestige, right? All the time. Should we stick through with this? We need allies. This is, this is not going to work. We, we have an heir now. So we need to act. We need to act as our um, bloodline needs it. And as our county needs it. So... We will try to get betrothed with her. Any chance? No chance. Patrilineal marriage. Oh, why though? She's the primary heir. Are you kidding me? Why is he against patrilineal, patrilineal marriages so much? Uh, let's see. All married. Huh. Barbara, she's an insane atheist <laughs> and a lunatic. Okay. Um, 
can I somehow pin her? Keep track of this character by pinning her on the outline on the right side of the screen. Please. Interesting. Uh... What? So the Duchess of Sebastia is also the wife, the spouse of Focus of Iver, Iver whatever. This huge duchy there. Um. Yeah, they won't marry with us. Let's see, Bucalarion, you don't have any intro. Ah, Pelagia here. She's a curious mind. This would get us an alliance. Ten years, though we're 26. Yeah, doesn't matter, right? We have an heir, so let's do the oh, we we could have done this. Six years. <laughs> I'm too quick to judge all the time, dude. Come on. Oh man. But he's a more powerful ally, so it's okay. It's okay. And we want to attack them anyways, so it's okay. Alliance formed with Eucharisto, Theocharisto. That's a good thing. Now we need to wait. Which witches bishop celebrated? Yeah. Uh no lifestyle chosen. Let's choose a lifestyle then. Diplomacy lifestyle. We one can never have too many friends near or far. Oh no. We will take this too quickly or as quickly as possible uh, get our prestige back up to speed but that's one per month that's 12 a year that's nothing yeah i would rather have three diplomacy Bubonic Plague, a killer in our midst, death has raised his scythe over my realm. The plague has arrived. The unfortunate victim is my courtier, Heraclius. The taint possessing his flesh is a danger to us all, while he remains afflicted. No life at court is safe. Sent for a physician. Yes. Ayasun. She's a physician and learning disease resistance. Okay. Sadistic, uh, weird. And he is well, not as good, right? And she's a foreigner. She's a Bulgar, part of the Turkic group. Yeah, she's not that far away. Okay. Uh, who are you? Demetra, Arios. Why is this shown? Oh, she's a courtier at her court. Maybe no. Um, apparently, Ayasun is quite experienced. Okay, Erekli seems enthusiastic. Okay. Oh, she's a claimant too. She claims to be trained in alternative medicine. And she would join my court, right? With him? Who's he? He's a diplomat, shy, humble, craven, an adequate bargainer. Uh... Ah, this costs um, piety. We are not cynical anymore, right? So we... With Ayasun. 
and uh, I forgot we have a lot of gold so we can we have already men at arms how that level 3 could it be that you inherit the men at arms that your like predecessor um, had so my uncle recruited men at arms and I, I inherited them as well with the duchy weird well we have a lot of uh, light footmen right uh, then we will recruit armed footmen as the next step there you go and the onager yeah we will keep them right as long as uh, we can we don't have to change the slot to something else uh what do we got here the outbreak of plague which has ravaged my court is finally over its victims have either pulled through or departed from this world a good physician i assure ensures me that all bodies have been properly handled and that the threat is wholly gone nice A call to war. Greetings, Duke Constantius of Paphlagonia. I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Vocularian claim of County of Avatia against Armeniac. Oh, so he would gain the this county here. Oh, we'll accept that. Of course. Of course and we will raise everything we have to support him this war will cost us a bit of money oh no i will are we going to have a truce against him then Can we? Oh, we cannot. Okay. Okay. Um, but I remembered. Let me see if we can get. Uh, if we need to sway someone in liking us. Maybe our bishop. Yes. Start the scheme. And you will support us. Oh, it's, it's 80%. That's, okay. That's enough. That's enough. Sweet smiles and little lies, just like other children his age, my cousin Polyparkos sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicious suspicion with his sweet demeanor. People always forgive him when he does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. I will keep an eye on this one. Uh, two, 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 two. We have an independence faction. So against our le oh oh well that's not a smart move from them. Fight for independence just yet. Hundred and eight dude. Oh, no. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my Basil Meyer Eastern is used in Yanos has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. He's testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Mocking him, mocking his insistent whining will shut him up. I will gain diplomacy, lifestyle, experience. The possible outcomes are you get a weak hook on the mayor and 20%, uh, 20 opinion. Sorry. <clears throat> um, 
or he will lose 15 opinion because of uh, cruelty or he outwits me which will cost us legitimacy uh, prestige it's a diplomacy challenge right no it's not uh, he shall have tasks which are impossible to complete same outcome uh, same um, possibilities. Or we could go this way, but we are diplomatic, so... Social manipulation, master of suppression. My constant snide comments about Major insistent whining really seems to have gotten to him. Since the others begin to follow my example, Major Justinus has grown more and more hesitant. Now he remains quiet, eyes cast low. Cool perhaps, but it had to be done. I uh, have a weak hook on him. Ping. And this war is won, right? Every man for himself. The forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my head. Who disturbs the duke at this hour? My late night visitors is none other than Peter. I have to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I have discovered something very interesting. Peter has uncovered a secret. Romanos is willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. Who is Romanos? My spy master. Ah. Tell me. I learned of Romano's secret lover. I could blackmail him. And I will get a strong hook, right? Oh no, I got a weak hook. But I had a... Huh? I don't get this. I had a hook already by by knowing this. Oh, man. Now I need to sway him. Can he help me sway him? Uh, that would be funny. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Empty council position. We have no marshal. No marshal. Zacharias of Castamono. He's our steward. Christophoros. And we can declare war on Armeniak. Right? Oh no, we prestige, dude. We are so fucked. Maybe we should switch to this so, so we can uh, so we gain two point four prestige. Uh, hold fast the council meeting as me and my councils are gathering. Yada yada yada. Okay, she will join me or. Five opinion. Yeah, we can handle this. I lose prestige because my dog farted. Well, interesting. What is the duke? I can't believe that the loss is the seizure of counties required to create an uncreated title of duchy rank. 
Huh. I propose an alliance without a marriage. Oh, that's a good thing. What a mighty beard he has. No, oh, what's this called? Mustache? What a mighty mustache. The more I study the noble art of statecraft, the more I realize how beneficial good relations with my neighbors are. I ought to have one of them visit my court so that I can show them just how good a friend I can be. But who should I involve? invite? The Princess Marian of Aspurakan, Emir Shabib of Numayer, High Chieftain, High Chieftess, Savintik of Don Valley. I should focus on appeasing my own vassals. Hmm. I mean, a friend outside of our own realm could be interesting, right? Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, that's a that's a small kingdom. But anyway, huh? We might become friends. Does this include a an alliance for you, the Emir of Numayir? Uh, well, nope. You are the High Chieftess of Don Valley. That's there. She's part of the Khazarians. Um, invite Princess Miriam. Hospitality, a warm welcome. Uh, the Serene Princess Miriam is finally here. Tonight we will have a feast to welcome our foreign guests. I've been hard at work with, the all, with all the planning and preparations. Everything is almost ready and I have some time to add a final touch. I know about a few specialities from Vaspura Khan. The court visit progresses very well. Poorly, that's a learning challenge, okay. Hmm... You lose 15. The outcome depends on Princess Miriam's personality. I should be extravagant. More of everything. Yes. Exercise or relaxation. If the sky is to be trusted, it seems like we will have lovely weather today. I have an excellent opportunity to show my guest Princess Marian the beauty of the local country. I wonder if she would like a vigorous hunting trip or perhaps a leisurely luncheon on the sun. Hunting trip would be perfect. She's lazy, so luncheon. What? I would like to show my guest Prince Miriam the cultural highlights of the Paphlagonians. The question is the what cultural highlights of Paphlagonia? The question is, would she prefer a great dance with all the lords and ladies of the court or a visit of our finest church? I bet she's a fine dancer. Church. Huh. She's a Christian, an apostolic, not an orthodox. They consider us astray. Nice. Petals and thorns. During our walk through the gardens, Princess Maria and I have, and I have paused to admire the view, the proportions, the colors. I have seen few things as beautiful as this, Duke Constantinos. She says in gestures at the sight before us. I feel as if I ought to say something kind in return, perhaps something about her. Well, the compliment is received is mainly based on how well it suits her, but also her opinion on you and your diplomacy skill. Loyalty and sense of honor. Giving nature. Way with people. God hell. Oh. Loyalty and sense of honor. Forgiving nature.
Yes. I stumble upon my steward, Maya Zacharias, crouched beside my dog, Hoffers, vigorously scratching her stomach. She's a good girl. Okay. Well, but that's it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. We had quite a good run now. <laughs> we uh, stabilized a bit. Uh, we still don't have an like a real air from our own like uh, branch of the house Dukas, but uh, there is an air, so that's a th that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked the episode, you enjoyed it, and we will see, we will hear us uh, next time. Until then. <laughs>